Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be looking at News Plus. So let's go right into the app. Once you guys open it up, you guys will see this. So let's just click on continue. And here we go. So this is the same thing for your iPhone. Obviously on your iPad, it's going to look a little bit different. And I decided to make this video for sure on my iPad since on an iPhone, it's just not the same looking at a magazine in your iPhone than your iPad. So right here, you guys are going to be able to see news, latest news and all that stuff. So to read this and see this stuff, you guys can just tap here, for example, the first story and read about it. And yes, this is free. So all this stuff that I'm looking at right now is free. You guys do not have to pay for this stuff. Even if you guys want specifically technology news, for example, we're going to click on technology and we're going to look this up. So if I click on any one of these, for example, right here, vice, let's just click right there. I can read about it and all that stuff. I can go back. So all this stuff that I'm looking at right now is all free. You guys don't have to worry about it. what's actually paid right now is news plus, which we can see on the left hand side. That's one of the options. We're just going to tap right there. All right. So news plus is a subscription of 999 and you get up access up to 300 magazines so far. So yes, it's cheaper to pay that if you guys like to read magazines, obviously magazines on your iPad or on your iPhone, they're much more dynamic. You guys can do a lot more. They're way more interactive than a regular magazine that you buy in the store. And yes, you guys can share this up to six people in your family and they can have their own magazines on their iPhones, iPads. Right now, what you guys could do, for example, if I want to look at this magazine, I can tap on it. I can see all the features. I can see what the content is in the magazine to see if maybe that's something that I want. But anyways, let's just go back. And right here, one of the first options you guys can click on which on the top left hand side will be browse the catalog. So let's just tap right there. And we're going to see all this. So if I tap on any one of these magazines, I won't be able to read them because all they're going to do is pop up like so. Hold on, let me just tap on this one. And I'm going to have to press try it for free right now. And I can get that. So right now it does tell me it's $12.99. That's because it's calculating in Canadian dollars. For US, it's $9.99. And yes, it will give you a free trial at first. So we're going to try it out. We're actually going to sign up, see the trial, and then we're going to try to cancel it and see what happens. Obviously, if you guys don't cancel in time with any of these subscriptions, they're just going to charge you for the next month. So right now we're just going to go back and we're going to press on try it for free. We're going to tap on try it for free again. Then it's going to bring you up this message. So there's the one month free trial that's going to start right away. And then we see that they're going to start charging us on April 27. That does not mean that you guys can cancel exactly on that date. Usually during the contract, we're going to see exactly how many days we have to do this before. So some of you on your iCloud may have your payment information already in. I always keep it out. So whenever I want to purchase something, I put my payment information. And then once that's done, I just erase all that payment information. because I just don't like to have all that information in my iCloud. I'm just going to click continue for now. It's going to bring you up to this page. If you guys don't have payment information, like I don't, don't worry about it. We can take out that payment information right after this. So don't worry about putting that payment information at this point. We can just proceed and then take it out. So it's safe. Once you guys put out that information, you guys just need to confirm. It's going to process. It's going to say done. And that's it guys. We can just go back into our news. Let's just click away from there. And here's news plus. So right now it knows that we took a look at this. All right, we can download it as you guys can see, or we can just look for more. So we're going to browse the catalog right now. So you guys can go and browse all you guys want and see what you're interested in. And then just tap on whatever you guys want to download for now and read it. Or let's say you guys know exactly what you want. Well, up here, we can just tap and type in, for example, National Geo. There we go. Let's just tap right there. And here are the issues. So I'm going to tap in on the latest issue right now, which is this guy right here. You can see the features and everything. So if you tap on the actual magazine, you guys will see the features and everything and see if you guys actually want to read this. You guys can go back, just tap on that really small icon where you guys can see the cloud icon. It's to download. So we're going to tap right there. It's going to start downloading it. 
okay so the download process well this can take a long time if you guys have slow internet speed or you can be really fast if your internet speed is adequate or really good so right now it's about halfway if you guys tap on news plus it's going to take you to this home screen once again if you guys don't want to see this sidebar you guys can always tap up here there's that icon on the top left hand side and it becomes full screen so right now like that and then all we have to do is just scroll down so as long as you guys do that you guys can read all about it then you guys can go next or just swipe there's no need to actually tap on the next button right here on the bottom you guys can always swipe all right if you swipe up you guys can read more about it if i would like to view any of these pictures bigger i can just tap on them and there we go it takes full screen now whatever magazine you guys were looking up at the time that's going to show right here under my magazine so it's telling me you're reading right now that's because this one's the one that i recently opened up before now like i mentioned before nat geo does interactive stuff so you guys will see if you guys scroll down things are going to start moving they do these parallax effects and stuff like that so it's pretty cool to interact and just look up their magazines because they do make it interactive up to a certain point so at this point just to show you guys that this does work offline I'm gonna shut off my Wi-Fi. I'm gonna shut off my Bluetooth, although that doesn't really matter. And then I can take a look at my magazines. So right now it's gonna show up all my magazines and not anything else because I don't have internet access. So if I go back and I search up for Nat Geo again, for example, it's not gonna show anything because I'm not connected online. However, the magazines which I downloaded already, those are good to go. So I can actually click on any one of these, which I downloaded, and they will work just fine, as you guys can see. And it's not just the pages that you guys viewed, because I recently downloaded this one, for example, right? I can go to the next part, next part, next part, and I can read this offline. And that's the point of you guys downloading. So right now I'm gonna bring it back up to my Wi-Fi. I'm gonna turn on my Bluetooth, although that doesn't have anything to do with this. You guys will see that this will reload. Again, I don't have to download it in order to view the magazine. I can always just tap on the first thing of contents right here. Let's just make this full screen. And there we go. So I can view this stuff. I can go to the next page and so on. So next page, like I said, it's usually swiping, but you guys can also tap on next and it's going to go to the next page as well. All right. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you. Oh,